Hello, we're going to take a look at power in electrical circuits and this lesson is split into two parts. This is part one and in part one we'll take a look at what power is, quick reminder and this formula, power is voltage times current and following from the formula the energy transfer is voltage times current times time. In part two we'll deal with the formula shown on the bottom. Let's remind ourselves to start with what power is. It is the rate of transfer of energy. Rate means how much per second. So that's how much energy is transferred per second. Transferred means change from one form to another. How much energy is changed from electrical energy to heat energy, for example. Here's a quick calculation to jockey memory 50 joules transferred in two seconds what is the power well it's just the amount per second it's 50 over 2 25 joules per second which we normally write as 25 watts a watt is a unit same thing as a joule per second we usually use these symbols when dealing with power capital P for power unit is watt capital W and the watt is the same as a joule per second could be written as JS to the minus one energy capital E measured in joules capital J time small t measured in seconds symbol small s not SECS -E the key formula is power is energy over time the rearrangements of it are E is power times time very important or time is energy over power. So you should be able to use all of those three forms. Quick question to get us going. Suppose we have a, a cell providing power to a resistor. So the resistor is supplied with 10 watts of electrical power for 23.2 seconds. How much energy has been supplied? If you want to pause the video, you can. You don't need a calculator. You can do that in your head. 10 watts, 23.2 seconds. How much energy has been supplied? And energy is power times time. It's 10 times 23.2. It's 232 joules. Simple as that. Let's think about what happens in a circuit. Here we've got a bulb. I've labelled the sides of the bulb A and B. And let's suppose there's a voltage, a potential difference between A and B. There's a voltage across the bulb. Two volts. What does that mean? Well, if you remember your lesson on voltage in EMF, you'll know that one way to interpret voltage is the amount of energy transferred per coulomb of charge that passes through something. So when we say there's a potential difference of two volts, it actually means that two joules per coulomb of electrical energy are turned to heat and light. For each coulomb of charge that passes through, two joules of energy are transferred. Two joules per coulomb. You'll also remember, I hope, what current means. In terms of charge, a current of three amps means three coulombs per second. It means that every second, three coulombs of charge pass through the bulb. Three amps, three coulombs per second. The question is, what is the power in this case? How much energy is being transferred per second? If you want to pause the video and think about that, I'll give you the answer in a moment. And the answer, I hope, is 6 watts. I hope you got that. Let's just see how we did that. It's really common sense. We know that 2 joules per coulomb are transferred two joules for each coulomb and three coulombs are passing per second it follows that six joules are transferred per second I simply had to multiply the two and the three if I wanted to write that down I could do it like this power equals two well instead of volts I'll write joules divided by coulombs and we've got to multiply that by three amps which I'll write as three coulombs divided by seconds I've written it in that format so you can see the C's cancel to leave 6 joules per second, which is 6 watts. All I had to do was multiply the voltage by the current. Can we prove that's true in general? 
Yep, here's how we can do it. Let's take a resistor at the top. The current through it is I, and remember that is given by the amount of charge that flows through it divided by the time, how long it's taken. The voltage across the resistor is given by the amount of energy transferred, E, divided by the amount of charge that's flowed through the resistor, V equals E over Q. I'm going to start by rearrange that, rearranging that so that E equals V times Q. The energy transferred is simply the voltage times the amount of charge. Now, look at this equation, E equals V times Q. I'm going to divide both sides by the same thing, by T for time. So I'm going to get E over T on the left and VQ over T on the right. Now power equals E over T, which is the left hand side of the equation, and the right hand side is VQ over T. could slightly rearrange that to write it as V times Q over T. What's happened is this, we've got the power is V times Q over T, but Q over T is current, I is Q over T. So we've actually proven that power is voltage times current, VI, or IV, obviously it doesn't matter which way around we write it. The energy transferred is power times time, and power is VI or IV, so I can write the energy transferred as VIT just multiplying the power by the time. These two equations at the bottom are very, very important. Power is IV or VI, and therefore energy is VIT. Take a look at those. Worth remembering. Obviously the key one is P equals IV, because the energy one follows from it, if you know that energy is power times time. Let's look at a problem. Can you have a go at this? 20 volts applied across a resistor, 5 amps going through the resistor. What is the power dissipated by the resistor and how much energy is transferred in one minute? If you want to pause the video and try this for yourself. Read the question, do it for yourself. The answer I hope you found was P is IV. It's 5 amps times 20 volts. It's 100 watts. That's the power dissipated. How much energy is transferred or dissipated in a minute? Well, energy is power times time. It's 100 watts times 60 seconds. It's 6,000 joules. Fairly straightforward. Here's a harder one for you to try. The power output of a cell is 500 milliwatts when it drives current of 4 amps around a circuit. What's the cell's EMF? Now I'll give you a clue here. EMF can be treated just the same way as voltage because EMF, like voltage, measures the amount of energy transferred per coulomb and is measured in volts. So any formula that has voltage in, you can put EMF in. Pause the video, have a go at that question. Here's my answer. We know that power is voltage times current. For a cell, because voltage and EMF mean the same thing, energy transferred per coulomb, we can write power for a cell producing electrical energy is EMF times I. Instead of V times I, we can write EMF times I. Put the numbers in. The power is 500 milliwatts. Milli is a thousandth. So 500 milliwatts is 0.5 watts. That will equal the EMF times 4 amps. Rearrange that and the EMF is 0.125 volts. Can't really give the answer to three significant figures because the data wasn't given that precisely. Best answer would be the EMF is 0.13 volts rounding to two significant figures. That's all for the introduction. I hope that makes sense. It's important to understand that, so if you want to watch it again before watching part two, it will be well worthwhile.